I think the hardest part about it being my senior year is just, it's not what I expected, it's not what anyone expected, and it's, it's just different. My name is Griffin Sendak. I am a senior multi-platform journalism major, and I'm the multimedia editor at Duquesne Duke. Didn't really decide, I just kind of stumbled into it. Uh, I was originally at Duquesne enrolled in the business school because I didn't know what I wanted to do, and when you don't want to know what you want to do, people recommend business. My admissions advisor recommended the then JMA program, and within that I looked at all the classes and journalism um, had the most classes of photos and photo and video stuff that I th thought I would like. Well, it's been affected in a big way. Just been more difficult to find stories and do interviews. There's less things going on. The experience of the Duke is not the same as experience at any you know, national paper. Um, it's still a student publication, uh, but the biggest thing you can do if you want to be a journalist is just write and do stories. And if you're not doing that, then you're falling behind. And that's one of the biggest things the Duke does is it's just an excuse to write and do stories. Griffin's position is the multimedia editor but he really helps all of us <laughs> with whatever we may need, whether it be a quick story or um, photo here and there. Um, trouble with the computer and, and design. Because the pandemic has so many uncertainties, I think it has because it's been more difficult to try to find stories in some ways. So, um, But he still just has that drive and passion to tell a good story. Generally, just in newsrooms in general with um, everything that we've been covering related to the pandemic it's just a little bit different because everything kind of has like a COVID take on it so all of our stories just kind of have that angle which wasn't normal before the pandemic. He still kind of has that drive that he's had in previous years he's still eager to get the story and um, he just goes about it, you know, taking the precautions, like wearing a mask, being more mindful about approaching people. But um, fortunately, the pandemic hasn't really changed his eagerness or his um, accessibility to getting different stories. Um, well, a few ways I've adapted for the semester. Um, Journalism-wise, it's you know, you've, you've got to be wearing your, your mask all the time and you've got to be uh, careful about the sort of interviews you do and the precautions that you take when you're doing it. Um, I found that even throughout pandemic, there's still a good portion of, of people that are willing to meet in person, uh, that the human, human contact is still very important for people. And so I think in terms of interviews, it has made it a bit more difficult and I think in terms of finding stories and helping, I think it's helped just in terms of stories and finding different kinds of stories and the type of stories people have to tell. Everyone has a quarantine or COVID story, it's affected their lives in some way. 